Hello everyone and welcome to Star Realms. It has been probably about five months since I've done a video on this. I was going to do a series on it and then, um, I don't know why, I just lost interest and slowed down. I think it's because I wanted to do the campaign and I just wanted to keep playing myself and uh, gave up on recording it. Anyway, it had been a long time since I played this game but about four or five days ago I downloaded it onto my phone and I've been enjoying the hell out of it at work. Uh, if you've been following me on Twitter, you just know <laughs> that's what I've been talking about, really, Star Realms. So I thought I would do a video on it, because, uh, yeah, I seem to be... Well, I just want to expand the horizon a bit, just do different videos. Because if I do Skulls videos all the time, I will lose interest again. And so I think if I try and separate things out a bit, play a few more games, um, then hopefully everything will be good. So, Star Realms, if you don't know, is not a card game or trading card game, it's a deck building game. Uh, so you don't, um, you, unlike your traditional card game, you don't build your deck yourself and then go to play a game against your opponent. Uh, you're both building a deck from the same number of cards in the middle. If I just show you quickly, um, well, I don't know, how's, let's go on here just so I can describe stuff to you. Yeah, go away, I'm, I'm describing all this. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, just go away. Go away! Oh, sorry, right, anyway. You start off with 10 cards in your deck. Oh, this is useless to explain, isn't it? Absolutely useless. Um, let's play this VAI and I'll just show you. Right, so, much better. This is Star Realms. You start off with 50 health each. This is me, that's my opponent. You have resources here, known as trade or gold or resources, if you know your scrolls stuff. Um, and here, this red bit is damage, or attack, if you like. Uh, you start off, each player starts off with a deck of 10 cards, uh, 8 scouts, these things here, and 2 vipers. Oh, so vipers will give you damage, scouts give you trade. Um, if I just play all these 3 here, you'll see that I'll gain 3 trade, because I play my 3 scouts. And then you get to spend stuff, so this is the stuff in the middle that you get to spend your trade on. Uh, they're explorers, which are always here, they're always explorers, so... If you buy one, it gets replaced by an explorer, and so on. And then you've got these five, which change every time you buy it. So if I, if I just look at this blob and find it, it costs one trade. We'll get to this stuff in a minute. But if I buy it, it gets replaced by another one. So imagine there's a deck somewhere over to the side here. Uh, we take a card here. One comes from the top of the deck, and so on. Uh, but if we look at a card closer, you'll see... Ooh, okay, that's useless. How do you... Oh, sorry, we'll look at this one. How do you... Zoom in! How do you zoom in? There you go, right click. So many different controls. Um, so if we look at this, we'll see that it costs one. When we play, it will give us one trade. You may scrap a card in a hand or discard pile. Um, scrap is an ability belonging to the Machine Cult. There are four factions, I'll get into those in a sec. Uh, but you scrap a card means you get rid of it from your deck forever. So if I played Trade Bot here, said it was in my hand, I could scrap a Scout and that would be gone from my deck. The idea is you want to do that just to thin your deck down, make it more consistent so you get to your better cards more often. Uh, and then it's got this ability here, which is an ally ability. Uh, these trigger when you've got two of the same, two cards of the same faction on the field together. So say I had Missile Boss and Trade Bot in my hand, I played both of them. Instead of just doing two damage and give me one trade, I'd get an extra two damage from this, an extra two damage from here. So I'd do six damage total and get one trade, as well as doing, having to be able to scrap two cards. Um, yeah, there are four factions. There are Star Empire, I think it is, Machine Cult, and Blobs. I have a trade federation, just for convenience I'm going to call them blue, red, yellow and green. Um, so this is the blobs here. Blob ship. Um, Machine cult are mostly about scrapping. Star, Star Empire most about your opponent discarding cards. Blobs, sort of about drawing cards and dealing damage. And for trade federation my favourite, mostly about giving you trade and healing and getting value from there. Quite a lot of drawing as well. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to head into an online game and we'll play that. One of the reasons why I didn't really want to do videos on this is because previous to an update, I don't know how long it goes, um, there were no limits for turns or at least it was 48 hours at, at the least almost, but at least, whichever way around it is. Uh, but if we change that now you can now play three minute games so that should be good. I'm currently level 7 uh, after 153 games, 58% win percentage. That's not bad. Um, I've listened to a podcast and reading a few things. Uh, if you get up to about 60, you're doing very well in this game. 
so hopefully I can reach that. I've been doing better recently. I was like 53%. Over the past few days I got it up. Got it up, that's a bit dodgy. So yeah, we're just waiting for an opponent. To see, I've got lots of games going on at the moment actually. Got this game going on. It's a pretty close game this one actually. It's waiting for him to have his go. So I've set up a wall here. Oh! My game's starting. Yeah, I had a good turn here. Boom! Example two. Unless you replay thirds of stuff, so. His next turn's rubbish, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, he's got nothing, so I should win that game. Oh, yeah, that's one thing you can do, you can look at your opponent's deck and stuff. So, we're playing ne oh, hang on. Nepomocene? Okay, this will be interesting. So, person who goes first starts off with three cards. If Normally you draw five, but because you go first, we start off with three. So, we've got two trade and one damage. Our options are we can buy a trade pod, an Imperial Fighter, or an Explorer. I like to go for trade early, so the trade pod here is excellent. Um, we get it for the two that we've got, and it's going to give us three trade when we play it. So, we'll take that trade pod and end our go. Another good option here, Cutter. Give me two trade. Explorer, probably take over Imperial Fighter. Ram, I like to take as well. I mean, it does. people take it for the damage, because it's a lot of damage. Um... I like to take it just because you can scrap it and gives you three, uh, which I use often, so I just use it just to gain bigger things. Give me an advantage there. We'll see what he takes. Probably take one ram. What takes for Stealth Needle? Stealth Needle's an interesting one. Um, opinion is split on that, I think, is the consensus. It allows you to copy anything you have, so if you have big things and you copy it, ally abilities go off. It's insane. Uh, but early on, I don't really rate it. Um, here, it's a really difficult choice. Recycling Station is amazing. We can discard two cards and draw that many cards. Uh, what's his next turn? He's got four to spend. Um, we can't... This is a tough choice, actually. Uh, we either want to stick with the sort of trade route, get patrol mech, that'll give us three. That's pretty nice. Recycling station for future. I don't think it's too good early on. We want to just keep rebuilding our resources. So I think we're just going to take the patrol mech here. Also, when we get some synergy later on, I just start scrapping our cards, which is good. So we'll take the patrol mech. It's got damage. Um, and it'll give us some trade. I think one mistake I make in my games is I don't get enough damage early on. I concentrate too much on getting the cards to give me uh, resources. Uh, whereas I probably, yeah, I go way too overboard. I mean, I don't have damage to... When my opponent comes back with playing stuff, I just can't remove them. So, when I was taking the, the patrol mech there, I got the option for damage. Uh, so, he can spend four this turn. We'll see what he takes. He took the stealth needle, so he probably wants to take the ram here. I mean, I think I might take Recycling Station next turn. We'll see what he does. Come okay, on. Getting War World would be quite nice. Seven damage a turn it can be. It's a lot of damage. Oh yeah, I should explain bases. Uh, bases, they're uh, ships, which is like your normal things here. Or they're bases. Bases stay on the field after you end your go. Um, so if I had War World, it would be on here. And you get to before you get to use its effect every turn. Unless your opponent destroys this. It's got health here, which you can see at the bottom here. So this has got four health. Uh, there are two types of bases. There are outposts and normal bases. Uh, outposts have black thingy here. Let me just see what he gets. Takes that. And that's okay. So outposts have uh, a black shield. And normal uh, bases have grey. Uh, you must destroy outposts before you damage anywhere else. So you can't target the face or any other outposts before... Or any other bases before you destroy an outpost. Because those are the rules. So, do we take a ram or take recycling station? Um, I think we can take recycling station because I want that war world. And then those two will synergize together. And that'll be pretty darn groovy. So next turn we get to spend eight. Eight is a magical number because well, they're the highest costed things you can get in the game. If there aren't any here, we've got this seven cost central office though. You may put the next ship you acquire this turn on top of your deck. Draw a card. We don't have anything in... Uh, Blue or the Trade Federation. But if I say Trade Federation, I think too much of um, Star Wars Episode 1. The stupid inning. Um, oh heck. So, here we go. We are going to go maximum. I get 9, in fact. Oh wow. So, I can either take the Central Office here. I don't really want it. He's not going to be able to afford it. Here's not a normal base, so you can see by it being grey. Take for Battle Mech. Scrap a card in your hand or discard pile, draw a card, 4 damage. I synergize with patrol mech quite nicely. I have got recycling station, but 
that's a base, so I'm not really committed to taking anything yellow. Warworld. Yeah, I think we'll take Battle Mech. For the damage, there's something that costs 8. See how powerful it is. Cost 8, 4 heal, 5 damage, draw 2 cards. Destroy a base as our liability. I like how these are trademarks on here. So, just, uh, so we'll take the Ram for extra damage and the Trade Bot as well for more scrapping. So I think we're winning here. Let's see what we draw. Ah, dead turn. Actually, you see what his rank is if you go on menu here. So he's ranked higher than me. Level 9, 6 out of 10 wins. Was I 7, 8 out of 9 or something along those lines? 6 out of 7 out of 8, something like that. What can he have this turn? So he could have a cut and explore. So most he can spend is 7, so he can't afford the command ship. I doubt he'll. He shouldn't be able to afford the command ship ever, yet we can. Let's look how much uh, stuff we've got. High cost Trade Federation stuff, which we hope to get into. I'm not too bothered about the cutter anymore, because it's an ally or anything, but World World Imperial Fighter, maybe. My favourite um, like colours to draft, if you like, if I could phrase it that way, are blue and yellow. This gives me options for being really controlly, and I like being in control. I don't know what we'll buy next turn, right? We've only got four to spend. He's probably going to buy a cutter and, or a peel refiner. And it will reveal some goodies, hopefully. In a way, I hope it reveals big things, because he'll never be able to afford them, and I'll be able to take them all. Come on, there you go. We've only got three minutes. <laughs> You're my bedtime soon. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he had the nut stuff there. Oh, hello. He's taking lots of things. Uh, so, what do we want to buy? We can take a missile bot to start scrapping even more. We have got lots of synergy with our red stuff. With a battle mech, patrol mech, trade bot. So, yeah, we'll take a missile bot. It also stops him from being able to do anything. Um, Imperial fights I'm not bothered about. Well, I don't know. Could take it, I guess. Could take the explorer. Could take nothing. Um... What I'm worried about is if it might reveal something good. I think the Explorer might be a bit better option. Ooh, what turn? So these two will synergize, so we'll get 7 damage from there and 2 damage there, so that's 9 damage from there. Uh, in terms of trade, we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 we could go for. Or I could scrap this and hope to draw something. Actually, Best thing would be to draw with a battle mech, I guess. We'll see. Have to do some maths. He gets that. Okay, so we could go like full on yellow here. So it's a question if we want to be able to try and buy the command ship, uh, which we can do. We can sack with Ram. Uh, we're not that devoted to green, are we? Not devoted to anything. Uh, basically, we're trading up a Ram for a command ship, which I think is a good deal. So that'll cost me three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we'll get the damage here. Um, yeah, we'll go with. Hang on, how do I want to do this? Let's discard that and draw a card. Go for. Hang on. Yeah, go for resources. Scrap that, get the command ship. Thank you very much. Uh, then, could go for two Imperial Fighters, I guess. Let's go for it now. I think we're in a good position to start going into things. So we've kind of given up on the green. We're going more into the yellow side of things now, so. We've got some decent scrappage going on here as well. Oh, game with Ayoj. This is now your turn. Yeah, not going to do that. That'll confuse you. <laughs> if I suddenly hop into another game. But yeah, we can. Uh, what was I going to word? Use the word. What was it? I was going to say synchronize. That's not a word. Synergize! That's the word. Use the synergy of these two to scrap two cards from here, so we can get rid of the two Vipers, because they're not doing anything for us really now. We'll get uh, six damage. We'll even use, remember we'll use the recycling station after he's scrapped, if he hasn't uh, killed it, which... He shouldn't be able to kill it. This has got a cutter. We need one of these three. Actually, he probably will be able to destroy it. <laughs> Hopefully he can't. Hopefully he can't. Um... Oh, 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can kill it. Okay, so we'll draw. We'll play with Battlemech first to scrap a uh, Viper. And then we play with Trade Bots. Now, we won't be able to scrap anything. Oh, yeah, we can. We'll scrap the other Viper. Get two scrappage. Draw a card, thanks to a Battlemech. Who will find this? We'll make him discard a card. And we'll get in there for eight damage. And we get to spend four on something. What do I want to buy? Do I want to buy a Blob Destroyer for four? I can get. The station here in BCOS. Am I doing well on stations? I'm not, I haven't really got many. Blob Destroyer is amazing, that's a problem. Six damage, I could destroy bases. Oh, hello. Uh, but I could take this just because it is an outpost, get more damage on the board. Hmm. You know what? I'll take a Blob Destroyer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven next turn I could spend. So we can go back into blobs if we want to, actually. Yeah. Imperial fighters kind of don't need their ability, don't need the ally ability to be effective. They just discard our opponent's cards, which is good enough for me, I think. See what you can do this turn. So you'll probably have a stealth needle, probably have a sensation. station, you'll probably do quite a bit, probably heal for like eight, do eight damage. Didn't have a cycling station, which is good, I guess. Ten damage to me, okay. So having a few dead turns here, which isn't useful. It's for dangers of just picking random things like we're probably doing. So we'll make him discard a card. We'll thin our deck by getting rid of the explorer here. Uh, what are we join next turn? We're getting some good, we're getting some awesome things next turn. Hopefully, um, hopefully we don't just leave the command ship and cycling station down there because that would make me sad. So what do I want to take? I can spend seven. Do I want to buy this? Put next ship. Yeah, it's tempting. Very tempting. Um, take the supply bot and the space station. It's not too bad. I don't think we're going to get much use out of this, so we'll ignore that. I think we'll take the space station and supply bot. Some more, more stuff. Command ship, that'll do. That's all we needed, just so we can draw the final two cards. And then we can get the uh, cycling station. We'll get the patrol mech as well, so we can scrap things. So next turn is going to be good, I hope. Word. What's it? Let's see what his, his deck is. So he's got. He hasn't scrapped anything because he hasn't got anything to scrap. He hasn't got anything that can scrap. So he's got a bit of damage here going on. A bit of damage on it going on here. A bit of healing. So he, his cards here are good. Uh, but he hasn't scrapped anything, so his deck's thinner. Uh, whereas ours is a bit all over the place in terms of synergy. Um, but we have some very powerful things going on and potential for doing a lot, a lot of damage. Also heal a bit as well. Command ship. Command ship OP. It's not really. Here we have it. So you discard a card. So recycling station going on. War world. Deal seven damage. Stealth needle. Good. So that stealth needle going out there is pretty good. Uh, so we're going to want to deal eight damage. Probably should be able to get eight damage. Especially after I draw from the ship. Good. So we're going to play a patrol mech here first and miss missile bot. It will definitely go for damage now. Uh, so I can scrap two things before my deck cycles. So we'll get rid of the scout. And we'll get rid of another scout. And we'll play the cycling station. And we'll discard two scouts. To draw two cards. So the deck cycles. Let's see what we draw. Scouts. Okay, well we get this, which will synergize us all to another outpost, which is good. 18 damage. Let's just destroy this, destroy this. Now I could sack this for four to go up to six so I can buy a blob destroyer but I don't think we're just going to pass our turn here that looks so good so if he plays has he got any stations left he hasn't unfortunately but we would have got blob destroyer and trade pod together so I can use its ally ability and destroy target base as we know it's all about the base 
Can't believe I made that reference. I'm so ashamed. Got no way of drawing a card, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we have. We've got the cycling station. He's probably going to be able to destroy that, though. No idea what that thing meant. Probably all missed it. That was so huge, losing, losing that stealth needle. If you manage to synergize it with like the Imperial Frigate here, make me discard lots of cards and stuff. Be pretty good. Can you do eight damage? Though? That's the thing. You need. It's likely, but it's not for certain he'll be able to do 8 damage. In fact, we just don't want him to have 3. <laughs> three. Four, 4 damage would be horrible. Yeah, he's got no damage here. 9, okay. Plenty. Oh, draw back. Damage. Uh, 3, 4... Discard a card. I'll discard the scout then. Oh, that's a shame. Um, let's play these two. Let's scrap a card in the middle. What do I don't want him to have? I don't want him to have uh, the embassy. No, the freighter, I think. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. Let's scrap another thing. Okay, so we'll get rid of all our scouts now. We've got two in our graveyard and. How many left in here? Three there, so. Got three there almost. Uh, we'll take the embassy out here, actually. Its ability is that if we have two or more. Um, bases out, then we get to draw two cards. And we're doing okay for bases. Now we've got one, two there. Uh, okay, just two. But, whatever. Value. Can't say no to that. What an awful turn next turn's going to be. What's this? Okay, it's always going to be bad. Okay, so we're going to have a very poor turn this turn. His is going to be decent, I guess. It's actually quite close. But I think once our deck cycles, we're going to be very happy. Would have been really nice if I had that supply bot here. Is it a supply bot? What's it called? Yeah. In my hand here, just then I'll get that extra scrap before my deck cycles again. Uh, but I can spend four, so we'll probably get a blob destroyer if he doesn't get it. Or a patrol mech. Might want to start looking at getting some healing, actually, because we could potentially get low. Chances are, however, we'll just finish him off in one big move. That's what we're looking for. Meepo Mussini. Discard a card. Oh, hello. Goes up to six. He takes that. Okay, so. Blob Destroyer, I choose you. Do I? Yes. Discard a card, my friend. Whilst I scrap something. Thank you very much. A bit more damage. So this is it. A final deck cycle, I guess. My next turn could potentially be very sexy. I could potentially win next turn. If I draw the recycling station, it'll be huge. Will it? Yes. His deck cycle. What's he got? So, again, he's still got all these things. He's got three explorers, which are kind of taking up room in his deck. Um, and all this. You know, the synergy there... He goes cut a cutter, stealth needle on him, and heal for 12 and do 12 damage. How much damage can I do next turn? I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 17 damage here, so. <laughs> I just need to draw 2. And he needs to not heal or get a base out, an outpost. Which he can do, so I don't think probably that. It would take, take a couple of good draws, I think, to be able to kill him next turn. This is Star Realms. I could be dead this turn somehow. It just happens. I've been in this position before when I just dive out of nowhere. No, nothing going on there. He goes up to 23. Deals 2 to my fierce. Okay, so we will draw two cards here. There's a bit of damage. There's a bit more damage. That should be lethal. If it's not, then something's wrong with this game.
24. Excellent. Boom. You are dead. Oh, oh. I've earned a missile bot avatar. Right now, level 8. Yay! So there we are. Alright, uh, what's going on? Where is it? Level 8. Not an island wins. Not bad at all. So, that's Star Realms. Uh, it was part of a humble bundle recently as well, so probably why I started playing it again. Um, if you don't have it, get it. It's only $5, I think. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can get it on your phone. It doesn't take up much space at all. It runs really smoothly. And yeah, uh, I hope you get it because it deserves more coverage than it gets. And it does quite well as it is, but uh, yeah, it's a better word. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.